Hello and welcome. Now for the whole of 2021, I'm attempting my second year of a no buy slash low buy. This is my check in for October. So I'm going to share with you all the things that came into my life, whether I purchased it myself, it was a gift or hand me down. Um, the products I used up as well as the finances at the end, how much I spent during the month, etc, etc. So let's just jump straight in. First is the items I've used up. Now, during this month, I used a total of 10 items. However, six of them were through my project pan that I've been doing. So I'm not going to show you those products again on this video because then I'm just like repeating myself twice. Um, so those are part of the project pan series. And then these are the items I used up that don't really have anything to do with that. So first is some conditioner. This is just the one that I've been using, I guess, the last five-ish months. Um, I really like it. I find that... Um, Hair products last quite a long time for me just because I only try and wash my hair like once, twice maximum a week and then I feel like it keeps it healthier. But I do really love this conditioner and I actually went and repurchased it, which I'll show you in a minute. The next was like some face peel tester sample thing, which was like okay, but nothing that interesting and I wouldn't purchase it based off that sample. I then had this hair mask thing that I tried which I actually really really liked and I think it might be something I do get in the future however I want to use up what I already have and the same can be said for this other sample which is sugar rush or well, like a whipped cake body butter which smells insanely good <laughs> however it's quite an expensive product and I do already have some other uh, like body moisturizers that I want to use first but I actually decided that starting from October of 2021 I want to keep all of my empties until, until October 2022 because I have a lot of skincare and products that I'm working my way through at the moment but I would like to keep them so that at the end I can also see how much do I get through in a year but also what are some things that I do want to repurchase once I've finished with my no buy um, and I've gone to that place where I can repurchase things because I've used everything that I already have so that's going to start this month. I'll be keeping all of my empties. Um, then the next is the school toiletries that I get because of like the program I'm doing. So I'm doing like a volunteer study program. I get certain basic toiletries covered within that at the little cop, whatever they can stock or order in, I can get. Um, and so I got my shampoo and conditioner again. So I'm still working through the shampoo. It's in my shower because I always finish conditioner first because my hair's so long before I finish shampoo. Um, but I repurchased these. I asked to get the bigger bulker versions just so it's less packaging. I feel like it's a little less wasteful. But um, yeah, that's the shampoo and conditioner I'm currently using and I do really, really like it. And then the next thing I got was some eye makeup remover. I've been previously just using my cleanser. However, I've been wearing makeup a lot more and my cleanser was fine if I wore makeup like once or once every two weeks or something but now I'm wearing it almost daily. I wanted something that's quite specifically to remove eye makeup um, and just do a better job to like completely cleanse and get every, everything on my face so I picked up this and it's been working really well for me so far. So those are the things that I received for school toiletries. The next are uh, other items that have come into my life. So the first is a gift I received, which I really, 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 really love. This is this cozy, oh, I'm knocking everything over, bathrobe. So I, if you've seen my room tour, you know that my room is like separated from the main house, which means I have to walk outside across the street to use the bathroom, wash my face, have a shower, etc., etc. And um, it's getting colder, the bathroom, is very small so I don't like changing in there after I have a shower because it's all steamy and then I can't really get my clothes on so I always would like run out in a towel across the street just to get to my room and I wanted to find a bathrobe because it's getting colder I looked in a few stores but could only find like polyester ones and then my partner just like ordered this offline for me he was super sweet of him because he knows that like I like cotton or like natural materials so this is organic cotton and I really really love it I kind of wish I'd bought it earlier because I use it every single day multiple times a day and it brings me a lot of joy but yeah so happy and grateful to have this and then the next thing I have is something that I purchased myself which is a cotton blanket it's kind of hard to show you what it is I think it's like maybe queen size um I found it in the supermarket for like ten dollars it was an impulse buy and it definitely did break my no buy because I don't really really need it um however I've always had like a cotton blanket like this on my bed it's something that I feel like really cozy with and I do really like it because I often like wrapping it around my neck and just like snuggling up to it um so 
impulse buy does break my no buy but not too mad about it because I've really really been loving it and I have been sticking to my no buy pretty well throughout the whole year um, so anyway I got that it's been nice I feel like extra cozy and ready for winter now because I have both of these two things so now let's talk about hand-me-downs so it has been the theme throughout my no buy year this year is that I've received a lot of hand-me-downs and this month is no exception to that theme because my good friend Zila, who usually gives me her skincare and things that she doesn't want to use, also went through and decluttered all of her makeup. So she gave me a massive box of stuff to go through. I actually sat there and helped her declutter because she wanted to do it and I was just like sitting there being like, so which things do you want to keep? Which things do you want to get rid of? Because I've got a little bit of experience of doing that. Um, so we did that together. And then I went through and it took me a while to go through and decide what were the things I was actually going to be able to use and what to keep. But I did decide to keep 65 items. I know it's a crazy excessive amount. However, I do feel like slowly I can work my way through them. And this happened at the perfect time in the sense where I've really started getting into makeup. So I was able to kind of build a makeup collection without spending any money, which is insanely incredible. And I'm so grateful to Zila for giving me these things, letting me use them. And I think I took about one third to half of what she got rid of. Um, and then the rest I've given to other people to go through the box if they want anything. So I was going to show everything and hand it and explain each product, but it's going to take way too long. This video will be forever. So I'm just going to read out what I have, the list of things that I decided to keep, um, and then just do some overlay footage so you can see what those items are. So the first I kept was seven eyeshadow palettes. Um, some of them are like, there's like one big eyeshadow palette, but most of them are much smaller ones. They're like fours or sixes and or nines so they're not full massive palettes. I decided to keep one face palette. I have three single eyeshadows. I have three bronzers, um, three highlighters which I love highlighters they're so beautiful and I also have discovered this beautiful thing called blush and now I have got seven blushes in my collection where previously I didn't have any. Um, so I've really been enjoying that. I have two like face trio things. They've got like both a bronzer, a highlighter and a blush within the trio and it's just like a little compact thing which I think is quite nice. Um, the next is setting sprays. I have four so that's quite a lot however two of them are almost kind of finished or on the way out so um, yeah I thought I'd use them up and then I'd still have the other ones. The next I have is three eyeliners, a light purple, a dark purple, as well as an orange one. I have an eyebrow pencils. I decided to keep three because they're both, uh, two of them are very much towards the very end of the eyebrow pencil. So I'll use them up, finish and finish them pretty quickly. Then there's three eyebrow gels. I kept three concealers that will match and work with my complexion. I have three glosses that I kept and also four lipsticks. I kept one um, lip liner that is like of a lighter shade. I also already have a darker shade so now I feel like set on lip liners. I have an eye primer and I also kept one mascara. So that was like most of the makeup stuff uh, including also two face primers and then the rest is more like skincare slash beauty products. So the other thing that she was, was getting rid of was some skincare. So I kept one lip balm, one face oil. I have three samples. One was like a hand cream and like a makeup remover and something else. I have two hairsprays. One is like a hairspray to like hold your hair in a style. One is like more of a serum to like make it better and healthier. I have one eye cream and one eye serum. I kept like a face mask sleeping mask treatment skin thing I don't really know what it does but it looks nice and it smells nice so I'm excited to use that so that is the total of all of the things I decided to keep which is a crazy amount but I do feel like slowly I can work my way through these things as well as being with a project pen and I'm so so excited to have a little makeup collection but it is pretty insane I've gone from I think around this time last year I had eight makeup items. I don't know how many I currently have, but it's well over 50, I think, at this point. Um, it would be interesting. Maybe I should do an inventory and actually count that all up. So, yeah, I've definitely gone from quite an extreme minimalist when it came to makeup to definitely much more of a makeup lover and enjoyer and user of makeup. But, yeah, it's something that is really cool to be able to, like, cover a new hobby and also 
not have to like spend much money on it which is yeah really kind of insane so the last area is finances as per usual so for october i made 231 dollars which is my normal stipend a check i spent a total of 99 um that gives me a savings of 132 dollars um 78 of my spendings was on eating out with friends and then i spent the 21 dollars on the blanket so that was the full finances for the month um and yeah i don't know how i feel about hand-me-downs i am definitely going to do another no buy year coming up this year i'm going to change it a little bit i'm sort of shifting things around and yeah trying to create a no buy year that has a maybe more flexibility like slowly allow myself to purchase a bit more because i haven't really purchased so much this year um last year i definitely purchased more so this year is a big improvement on last year but i feel like i do really want to keep doing this challenge i really really love it it's always hard when i share about the hand-me-downs just because i think it just affects the relatability because not that many people out there i think would have amazing friends that are going to declutter all their makeup and have access to all these beautiful things um so when you are a no buy the temptation to buy more is much stronger because you're obviously not also having a, an influx of new things that kind of keep you distracted or entertained for that time but yeah it's also kind of interesting and i'm so glad i'm on a no buy while i'm discovering makeup because i've been watching youtubers and makeup people online and definitely like looking at different makeup brands and like going oh I really want to buy this or I really want to buy that but I have to like hold it in and be like no I'm on a no buy let's just use what is being offered to me for free which is incredible um and if I really really want to in maybe two or three more months time once I finish this no buy I might give myself a makeup allowance for next year but I do want to continue to stick to a no buy low buy because actually for me I feel like this is the healthiest way I've ever had a relationship to shopping and spending money and I want to kind of just keep that as what becomes my new normal it's not the normal for everyone else out there but it's definitely what I want to cultivate to be my normal when it comes to shopping so anyway that's enough of me talking thank you so much for watching I hope that your no buy low buy is going well the new year's coming around I would love to hear if you are interested in doing a no buy for the next coming year and yeah, I'm going to continue to create those videos on this channel and it's just an awesome thing. I would totally recommend it to people if you're interested. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!